What's going on, Gremlins? It's Ghost. And the Raiders fucking did it. They won. Everybody was talking about Cleo Mack, Cleo Mack, Cleo Mack. But, you know, the Raiders pulled it off. They took a 17-0 lead. Chicago came back through a lot of the Raider mistakes and scored 21 points in the third quarter. And the Raiders scored the final touchdown, went the length of the field. Every, pretty much a rookie was involved in every single play on that last drive. It was a really, really awesome day. Um, as far as numbers, Carr and Chase Daniel kind of, they threw the same amount of yards. Carr, no touchdowns, no picks, but Chase Daniel, two touchdowns, two picks. Uh, the Bears were very lucky circumstantially. Uh, just, you know, and I'm not saying, like, for instance, the Raiders were up 17-0 and Carr literally throws the football like a fucking baseball past everybody and the Bears get the ball on like the 10 yard line you know they get a touchdown they run a kick back all the way to like the 20 and one of our undrafted rookie free agents Keyshawn Nixon who I really really think is a good player uh tackled them but they ended up giving up a score a few plays later and you know just like stupid shit but, you know, they were down. They looked like to be out of it. Uh, Bears ran into the kicker, which should have been a 15-yard penalty. But we'll get into penalties in a second. And um, so a 4th and 6 uh, became a 4th and 1. Went for a fake punt with Eric Harris. Got the first down. And then from there it was Josh Jacobs. It was uh, Foster Moreau. It was... Um, Fuck. Hunter Renfro juke the shit out of Fuller. And then, you know, capped off with Josh Jacobs looking like a little torpedo over the top. So, great, great win by the Raiders. The Bears played tough, man. You know, it's it's not easy losing your starting quarterback. And, um, but, you know, it just wasn't good enough. And I don't feel too, too bad because pretty much everybody commented on my preview of this game saying oh bears easy win bears easy win haha <laughs> lol and then after the fact they're all like oh well we're injured yeah we have a lot of injuries too man so it is what it is uh josh jacobs uh, there's a few mvps josh jacobs is one of them averaging uh, <laughs> almost five yards a carry over 120 yards two touchdowns another 25 yards or so receiving absolute stud performance by Josh Jacobs but the entire offensive line including the tackles Colton Miller and Trent Brown kept Khalil Mack at fucking bay zero sacks a few tackles and a fumble recovery which is nothing against Mack I mean his hustle was he really really tried the whole game and he and people were talking shit about him online if you talk sh if you're a Bears fan and you talk shit about Khalil Mack you're a fucking idiot like, that's just, that is what it is. Um, the Bears' defense played tough, but, you know, the Raiders, the Raiders really came to play. And they showed that, you know, last year they won four games, and they could only win, you know. But they're 3-2 and two to start, so that's definitely an improvement. A lot of it's owed to Josh Jacobs. But the whole rookies, man, all these new guys. You know, Foster Moreau had a big impact. Hunter Renfro made a super big play. Josh Jacobs obviously did great. Well, I talked about Keyshawn Nixon, an undrafted free agent rookie who made a touchdown saving tackle. They ended up getting a touchdown, but you never know. They, that hustle and effort is huge. So, you know, everybody, our young guys really, really stepping up. And, uh, you know, Conley got the, the pick to end it. And another young guy, our secondary is very, very young. Carl Joseph was laying wood the entire game just hitting like a beast eric harris flying around the field he made a, a few really good plays so you know I, I i really liked i really liked what i saw from these guys and yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for me man uh love the game and till next one